you ready to have your mind blown? Follow me down this rabbit hole. This mouse may look happy now, but things are about to change. Don't worry, it's a sad story, but it does have a happy ending. After watching this video, you're gonna see how scientists were able to destroy the mental health of mice and how the scientists were able to reverse the condition and get the mouse back on its feet again. And once you understand how it happened, you can send this video to a loved one suffering from symptoms of depression, or anxiety or other mental health problems and they'll thank you later. First, we gotta talk about sugar. In the diets of animals and humans, we have carbohydrates or sugars. This apple is full of fructose, another type of sugar. Now in nature, the fructose that's inside this apple is packaged in fiber. If you remove all the fiber, you're left with sugar water. Even sugar itself comes packaged in fiber. Scientists wanted to try and cause this mouse to become depressed. To make the mouse incredibly depressed, they first gave it a diet of 30% sugar, and then they simply added an element of stress. This is the sad part. There's lots of ways that scientists have figured out how to stress out mice. They make them sleep during the day and stay up during the night. They put them in wet cages, and they do these types of experiments on mice because you could never do these things to humans. But humans do it to themselves. The modern American diet is typically way more than 30% carbohydrates, with an extremely large portion of those carbs coming from sugar. And what happens when we have too much stress or we're not getting enough sleep? Perhaps we have a poor diet or a sedentary lifestyle. And there's lots of other factors that can contribute to poor gut health. As you'd expect, the stress plus the sugar was too much for the mouse. It caused inflammation in the brain, damage in the gut, and led to depression. Now that we've told the sad part of the story, let's talk about the happy ending and the hero. It turns out that removing this fiber is actually not such a good idea. One of the reasons why we have all these mental and metabolic health problems is that food makers take a product like this, remove all the fiber so they can make products like this. The fiber is critical. The bacteria in our gut ferment the fiber to create something called short chain fatty acids. To get these short chain fatty acids, we have to eat more fiber. Giving the mouse short chain fatty acids got the mouse back on its feet again. Just like the mice in the experiment, if we have a diet high in sugar, high in stress, it affects our mental health, our metabolic health, and the rescue is short chain fatty acids. And for humans, when we eat fiber, our microbes turn it into the short chain fatty acids and it does all kinds of good things for our brain and our organs. To get more fiber, eat more plants, more vegetables, fruits, seeds, herbs. And if you struggle with dietary discipline, you can supplement, that can help. If you or a loved one is struggling with your mental health or your metabolic health and want to read more information or learn more about this, I've got lots of videos on my page. If you don't know where to start, try this video, how to get unstuck.